Right, so let's look at an example. If we look at our question, we can see that focus limit test is presented to X track of their pre adjustment trial balance. So here is the pre adjustment trial balance. Scroll down a bit. So you can check pre adjustment trial balance. And that reflects the current picture. And the year end is on the 31st of December 2013. Then we've got some additional information which we'll have to take into account if we read our required. It says prepare the general ledger account or accounts rather below for focus limited on 31 December. You only have to fill in the debit and credit amounts and you do not need to fill in the contra account description so it's just going to be amounts that you're going to fill in here. And you also do not need to balance or total the account. So you can just literally fill in the amounts. Start by entering the opening balances, totals, and then record the adjustments. Good. And then part two is to calculate the amount which will be disclosed in the post-adjustment trial balance. So what should have happened to show for focus limited on 31 December. So just the two trial balances quickly. If we look at our two pictures, Mr. Bean, this is the current picture. This is my pre-adjustment trial balance. This is what is in the financial statements currently at the year end, which is 31 December, before any adjustments have been made. What we want is the true picture of the incomes earned. So remember, we said the incomes earned, the expenses incurred, and the actual value of the assets. Now, this question deals with the accrual principle and the matching principle and we're going to look in this video at the first example which is uh, the 12 month insurance policy was taken out on the 1st of May 2013 at a monthly premium of 820 rand per month. So the first thing we need to do is to draw our financial year end. The question states that the year end is on 31 December 2013. So my financial year is going to be from, there we go, that would be January, and we're going to go all the way from January to 31 December. So this is going to be December, and this is going to be January. Good. So that's my financial year, January to December. Then the question states that the 12-month insurance policy was taken out on the 1st of May 2013 at a monthly premium of 820 Rand. So let's look at what we have in our pre adjustment trial balance. We've got recorded here for insurance 9840. And we know the monthly amount for insurance is 820. So the question is how many months? insurance have we recorded in our current picture? What does our current picture show for insurance? So if we take a calculator, so here's my calculator, and I say I've got 9840 that has been recorded in my insurance. So let's put that in, 9840. My insurance premium per month is 820. We divide that by 12. Oops, sorry, let's redo that. I've got 9840 that is in insurance. The insurance premium per month is 820. So if I take the total insurance recorded, I divide it by the monthly premium, I'm going to get the number of months that I've paid insurance for. Divided by 820, which is the monthly premium, it's going to give me 12 months that I've paid. And they told us the 12 month insurance policy was taken out on the 1st of May. So I know that I've currently recorded insurance of 9840, which represents 12 months. If I go back to my picture, the current picture is as follows I have recorded from the 1st of May, which will be somewhere not in the middle, that's about the middle, so the 1st of May. That would be the 1st of June, and this would be the 1st of May. This is where I would have, have my 12 months. 1, 2, 
around about there. This is the period when I would have recorded the insurance claim. This is 12 months. There we go. So that's my 12 months. And this started in May. And it's going to end again. Starts on the 1st of May. So that means it's going to end next year on the 30th of April. Good. So what is this? This is the current picture of the insurance that we have paid. This is the insurance that we have paid. Now we want to reflect the true picture of the insurance that relates to the financial year. So, how much or how many of these months relates to the Jan December financial year? So, let's count. We've got May, we've got June, we've got July, we've got August, we've got September, we've got October, November, December. This past year, all the way from May. To December, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months that relates to the financial year. So this is the true picture of the insurance that was incurred. All right, so let's quickly calculate how much insurance was actually incurred. Now this is going to be eight times the monthly premium which we had and if we just quickly check that again we saw that it was 820 so my monthly premium is 820 if we take our calculator and we say 8 times 8 times 820 I'm going to get the month or the total insurance incurred for the year which is going to be 6560 so we can fill that in on our picture. So this is going to be 6560. So the amount that we've paid, the current picture, is oops, sorry, hold on. The amount that we've paid is this 9840. So that's the current picture. We've paid 9840. The true picture of what actually relates to this financial year is only this eight months, which is the 6560. So the difference between what we've paid, the current picture, and what we've actually incurred is going to be my adjustment. So here we go. Let's record my adjustment. And my adjustment is going to be the Current picture minus the true picture, which is 9840 minus 6560. And if we do that on our calculator, we are going to get 9840 minus the 6560. And that is going to give us 32. Eight zero, which is my adjustment. Now let's go about answering the question. Our question said, prepare the general ledger accounts below for focus limited on 31 December. Let's start by filling in the opening balances. We're just going to look at transaction number one, which is the insurance. And we know that my insurance paid, the current picture for insurance is this 9840. So we can fill in the current picture on insurance. Uh, this example shows you that insurance is an expense that increases on the debit side. 9840. Good. Then once we've got the current picture, we are now ready to fill in our adjustment. We've calculated our adjustment, which is the difference between the current picture and the true picture. And at 3280, and we know that our current picture is 9840. So the current picture is a little bit too much. So we need to reduce the current picture to 6560. 
So in order to do re reduce the line 840, we're going to have to put something on the credit side, the minus sign. So we're going to put our adjustment here, 3280. Now we know that for every debit, there must be a credit. Remember, this was an opening balance, so we didn't have to record the debit and the credit. The, the credit for this would be lying somewhere else, probably in the opening balance of bank. But for our adjustment, for every debit, there must be a credit. So I've got a credit adjustment here. I'm going to have to have a debit leg somewhere. Now the question is, what do I have as a debit? Do I have something, do I owe something to someone else? Or does another entity owe me something? Because if I owe something, that's going to be a liability. If someone else owes me as the business something that's going to be an asset for the business let's read the transaction it says a 12-month insurance policy was taken out on the 1st of may 2013. so what's happened here is we've actually we've paid for the full 12 months but we haven't used the full 12 months we've only used eight months so in effect this entity from whom we've taken the insurance they owe us this four month here now this four month portion here is the adjustment and this is what the other entity still owes us this service okay so we as the business are owed this insurance service for these four months so this is going to be an asset for the entity because the other entity uh, from whom we've taken this insurance they owe us the coverage for the insurance premiums that we've already paid them let's see just excuse this 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 line here right so this 3280 is what is owed to us so this is going to be an asset right so that's the other leg So let's record the 3280 needs to go against an asset. The specific asset we're going to call prepaid expenses because we've paid the expense in advance and the other entity actually owes us the service. So we can record 3280 under prepaid expenses, which will be an asset. So just to summarize the adjustment, we adjusting our expense to reflect the true picture of the expenses incurred even though we've paid 9840 the true picture of the expenses incurred that relates to the financial year is the eight months year even though we've paid 9840 we had to adjust our expense to the 656 year therefore we credited insurance and we recorded a debit on our asset account because the other entity owes us the service so if we have to fill in the post adjustment trial balance, which is the true picture, my insurance true picture is not 9840, it is the 6560, which is the 9840 minus the 3280. Good, so let's go back here. So in here we're going to record insurance of 6560. And under my prepaid expenses, which is an asset, so it's on the debit side, it's going to record 3280. And that is prepaid expenses. Good.